Las Vegas, Nevada, a series of brutal attacks were carried out on homeless people that were sleeping on the street. Each of the victims were killed with a hammer and they all lost their lives at the same exact intersection. And this led police to believe that the same person was committing all these murders, but they had no clue who it was. And this prompted them to set up a camera at the intersection with a fake homeless person and wait to see what happened. And later that night, a man identified as Shane Schindler showed up to the scene with a hammer in hand and was caught attacking the homeless mannequin before realizing it was a decoy and walking away. But he didn't get too far as police were only minutes away and arrested him on the spot and brought him in for questioning. We're a homicide detectives. Okay. We're not interested in your warrants. We don't care about the dummy. That's not our, our business. All right. Okay. Um, we're actually working. There's There's been some homeless people who have been hurt. Okay. Um, that have gotten seriously hurt. Okay. And that's what we're investigating. Okay. Okay. And um, some homeless men have, have gotten hit with a hammer. Okay. And that's why we're interested in this. Okay. Okay, that's why we're talking to you. Right. Okay, have you hit anybody with a hammer? No. Okay. Schindler denied ever hitting anyone with a hammer, but what he didn't know is that his attempt to bludgeon another homeless victim was recorded and this was used by detectives to get him convicted and ultimately sentenced to 20 years in prison. A man named Robert Ray is a truly sick person and also a serial killer, but he's not your average serial killer. Instead of killing men, women, or children, he took interest in murdering cats. Ray was responsible for the death of over 18 felines, some of which he lured with food and others he simply chased down. But he didn't stop there. Before he ended the lives of the cats, he allegedly used them to pleasure himself in unspeakable ways. And in this surveillance footage from an elderly woman's home, it captured Ray luring her outdoor cat and then grabbing it and running back to his car. Police then used this footage to identify him and get a search warrant, and when they searched his car, it was full of blood, scratches, and fur. While searching his house, they found multiple deceased cats lying in his bed, and Robert was arrested and sentenced to 16 years in prison. Outside a metro station deli in the early morning hours, a man named Nikul Mishra found the next victims of his murderous spree. But similar to Robert Ray, he had no interest in killing other people, but had a sick obsession with killing dogs. In the surveillance footage, it captures Mishra luring the dogs towards him and then taking their lives with a knife. And when the other dogs go over to the dog in distress, he does the same to them. And after he was identified as the one in the video, he was arrested shortly after. John Colehep is a sadistic man that was responsible for the disappearances of Kyla Brown and Charlie Carver. The couple were going to visit their friend, but when they never arrived, the friend alerted the police and a search team started for the couple. And two months later, while deputies were searching grounds in Spartansburg, they heard someone in a container banging. So they got a search warrant and they returned to the property to search the container. Inside, they found Kayla Brown chained up and left to die by John Colehep. Watch out. Y'all move. Hey, guys, watch out. Hey, Jelly. Jelly. This is, this, bolt cutters. Is, this is our best friend. He's a paramedic. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're going to get you out of there, okay? Just hang loose, Blumber. Anybody got it? I need a handcuff key. Handcuff key. I don't I got it right here. Hold up. Y'all slide back. And after discovering Kayla, they were also hoping that Charlie would be somewhere around the area. But Kayla informed authorities that Cole had been shot Charlie multiple times and buried him in the backyard. But when detectives confronted him about these claims, he denied ever doing it. <laughs> While we were here, all right, my sergeant served a search warrant on your property. Okay, we have Kayla. Excuse me. We have Kayla in your property. She was locked in a container. Okay. She has told us that you shot and killed Charlie. Okay. So at this time, I'm going to need you to stand up 
and put your hands behind he's, your back. He's already You're handcuffed. Under, okay. You're under arrest right now for kidnapping. All right. They're continuing to search your property. They're going to continue. They're, they got cadaver dogs down there. Okay. If you want to help yourself, tell me where Charlie's at so we can go find his body. That's that's pretty much where we're at right now. Okay. Do you want to help yourself and tell me where the body's at so we can go recover Charlie's body? No, sir. You don't want to? No, sir. Okay. Why'd you shoot him? I didn't shoot anybody, sir. Okay, why'd you lock her in a container in your property? I was talking about She's on your property right now, locked in a container. They just got her out of a, like a... Um, they called it a shipping container. Connex box. box. She was locked in a container oh, in a Connex box. They got her. We are, we have investigators. We have like 20 investigators on your property right now. And they have found her in the Connex box. So she never left your property. Okay, you locked her in the Connex box. And she has told investigators that you shot and killed Charlie. Okay, so I'm trying to give you an opportunity to help yourself and help us help you find this body. Because Charlie, she's saying Charlie's body, you buried Charlie's body on that property. So you're saying you didn't lock her up, you didn't put her in the connex box or anything? No, sir. I'm going to need an Probably a good thing. Go ahead and put him in the back of your car. Yes, sir. Kohep denied the claims, but it didn't help him too much as in 2017 he was sentenced to seven life sentences without the possibility of parole. Tamara Sentinova was a 68-year-old Russian grandmother that took the lives of dozens of people in a 20-year span, but due to her innocent and fragile appearance, she was not a suspect in any of these crimes. But after the disappearance of her neighbors when her actions came to light, in the surveillance footage, it captured the woman carrying the dismembered parts of her victim in the pots and plastic bags, and some of the victims had several organs missing, leading police to believe that she was also a cannibal. And once she was caught, she claimed that she wanted to spend the rest of her life in prison to escape an evil spirit in her apartment. <laughs> 